So I was speaking to this guy, let's call him Vivek. And Vivek told me that he's not getting enough interview calls. And his assumption was that he is not getting those calls because his salary is on the higher side. And here is a little bit of background about Vivek. So Vivek has more than 20 plus years of experience. He has worked in two or three different companies. He has not changed his job for the last 10 plus years. His total experience is 20 plus, so his salary is probably somewhere around 40 or maybe a little more than 40. So a lot of people who fall in this 15 to 20 years of bracket in the IT world have this problem that they think that their salary is already on the higher side and that is the reason they are not getting interview calls. Now here is an eye opener. Your salary may or may not be high. You should not assume that. Unless you've gone into the market, got into an interview call and the recruiter or hiring manager told you that boss, you are already beyond the bracket. We can't pay you. This is the highest we can pay and you're already beyond that. If that is the case, if you have been told this by one, two, three, four recruiters or hiring managers, then yes, you have some evidence to believe that. Or if you've done some market research, you've gone to the market, figured out that okay for this industry, these kind of companies, skill set, experience, this is the salary band and I'm already beyond that. If you've done that kind of analysis, then yes, you have some evidence to believe that your salary is high. But otherwise, if your friends are telling you, if somebody on social media is telling you, please don't believe that. This is an assumption and a lot of people make this bad assumption. Let's understand that different companies have different paying capacity. We have spoken about this earlier, but you need to understand startups may have a different appetite to pay versus a product company versus service versus banks or versus consulting or big four companies. Different companies have different paying capacities. So today you may be working for a service company and they have an appetite to pay you only 40 lakhs. But tomorrow if you switch and move to a product company or to a consulting company, they may have more paying capacity. So that kind of a shift is possible. It is not easy, but it is possible. So first thing that you need to do to reinvent yourself in 2024 is change the mindset. Stop assuming things. If you don't believe that a certain thing is possible, it is never going to happen. So please start with a fresh mindset, a mindset of positive belief. Second thing, if you are working in the same company for very, very long time, there are high chances that you may be working on a legacy skill set. If your skill set is outdated, it is legacy, which means it will not have much demand in the market because a lot of companies are not even using it anymore. Right? So if that is the case, it is a clear indication that you need to work on your skill set. You need to learn new things, fresh things, new technology, new tools, which are going to be relevant for the next 5 to 10 years. It is again common sense, not any rocket science. But a lot of time people are laid back. They don't want to put efforts to learn. They say, oh, I am in my 40s. How can I learn now? I have got out of that touch of learning. It's all bullshit. It is all in your mind. You can very well take out 20 minutes or 30 minutes from your schedule and bring back that focus on learning new things. Now, that brings a very common question, oh, what should I learn? Should I learn cloud? Should I learn data science? Should I learn AI, ML, blah, blah, blah. Here again, you need to focus on what is relevant for you and not focus on something which is relevant for your neighbor or for your friend or for your colleague for that matter. Please focus on what is relevant for you. If you are coming from, for example, Oracle background or business intelligence background, it would make sense for you to study something which is related to data because you've been working on those kind of things from the past. So please look at your past experience, look at what work you've done in the past, what are your positives, what are your strengths, what comes to you naturally and then figure out what is the next line of learning that you want to pick for yourself. And when I say that, you also need to understand that this is not going to change overnight. You may make a decision today to learn, but it is not that tomorrow you subscribe in a course and day after tomorrow you get a lot of knowledge and in next week you'll get a job. That's not happening. So it is again a learning curve. If you want to put yourself on a path for the next 5 to 10 years, 
it is at least going to take few weeks or few months. A lot of people are actually in the mindset of finding problems. So if you don't want to do it, just don't do it. Don't find out problems which you will face six months down the line. Because a lot of time people say, oh, if I do this course, what will happen? A lot of time there are courses which are like one year diploma, one year course, etc, etc. Those courses may be good for learning, but not necessary that if you do that course, you will get a placement. If I have to join that course, I will join that course with the intent of learning. Not with the intent that after one year, this guy is going to give me 2x or 3x salary hike. That may be possible in few rare cases. But if my experience or my previous skill set is not aligned, if I'm not putting the right kind of efforts, I can't imagine to have some really 2x or 3x results. So moral of the story is you'll have to put hard work. You'll have to put consistent efforts. Then only you will start to see results. And 40s is not the age to give up. In your 40s, you need to still look at the next 20 years or 25 years of horizon. You still have a lot of time ahead of you in your career or in your business or whatever you are doing. It is absolutely not the time to give up. It is actually the time to reinvent. And the entire journey will start when you start to focus on the right things. With so much of information available, it is easy to get confused. And that's why you need to bring back your focus and do fewer things, but do them well. I hope you get the point. I don't want to stress this any further. See you in the next video. Take care and bye for now.